The goldenrod is blooming here at Mockingbird Meadows. We're out in the prairie by the pond. And today I wanted to talk about uh, one of our most maligned natives, the goldenrod. Goldenrod is pretty and, and it's very useful. Unfortunately, everybody thinks that it is the cause of their allergies around this time of year. And that just isn't the case. The tall yellow blooms here have really big pollen grains. And as you can see, they're really attractive to all different manner of wasps and bees. And if we stand here long enough, you may see some butterflies come by. I see some ants going up looking for nectar. This plant is just a bonanza of food here in the fall. And we know it at this time of year as an indicator that the blooming season is coming to an end. The honey that we get off of this tends to be a rather stinky honey. And as it cures, it becomes really delicious. Happens to bloom at the same time as ragweed. And so ragweed is what gives us the airborne allergies. That's the real plant that's to blame. And if you handle this for too long, if you handle the pollen off of off of goldenrod, you can get a t contact allergy from it, but that's not likely with most people. One of the most amazing things about this plant is that it has rubber in its leaves. And in fact, it has a great tie-in with our history, uh, with the likes of people like Thomas Edison and Henry Ford. Uh, Th Thomas Edison's car that he received from from Henry Ford, actually the Model T had the tires made out of goldenrod. And there's a great article in Time Magazine in December of 1929 where you can read about what they were doing with rubber and the things that Edison was trying to accomplish. It's really fascinating. It kind of makes you look at this plant a little differently. It is a perennial and it has been used medicinally for its anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. It spreads by, uh, by clumping. So you can divide this just like any other perennial and move it around. What's really amazing about it and is your, in your garden is that it is home to very many beneficial insects larva. It's a food plant. It's, it's producing nectar and pollen. So it's a great place for those beneficials to hang out in your garden. And it also attracts the negative bugs that you don't want around. And usually you've got a beneficial hiding out, taking a snack that will munch on the bad guys for you. This is a plant that gets pulled out so much. And there are a little over a hundred different species of Solidago. Uh, the genus Solidago contains about a hundred different species and you can find all different variations of this very poofy yellow flower on the end of a long stalk like this all throughout native North America. It is a really beautiful plant that gets pulled out too much of the time because we think that it's going to cause allergies, but we really should leave it alone. It is a beautiful plant to bring inside as a cut flower. It's a fabulous companion plant, and it's a keeper of a lot of our history. So I hope that you'll take a different look at your goldenrod this fall and enjoy it for all that it has to offer and leave it where it is and maybe mark it and consider taking a split and putting it in your garden next year. And instead of throwing hate at it, give it some love. This is Don Combs, the prescription gardener here at Mockingbird Meadows. Join me next time.